Um, your one win from the Premier League, and it's the richest match in uh, world football. Yeah, that's what they say. Well, we're not nervous. Not yet. Maybe on the maybe on the Monday, but uh, we're just never having a preparation like we normally do. You know, prepare as good as we can. Um, we are confident. You know, we've uh, we've shown that we've done that in other games as well. We know we're going to be facing a good team again. Uh, but that's what you if you end up in the top six, uh, they're only good teams. I've told you that before as well. But um, you know, we're going to do, give it our best shot. We're going to work very hard. We're going to believe in ourselves again, and then hopefully you can get a good result. The sums for winning though are staggering, 170 million guaranteed if you go up. Could be 290 if you stay up for one year. Yeah, it could be nothing as well. Um, you know, but uh, the thing is, we don't really, really want to think about that. You know, because we're not there yet. So uh, we need to think about what we need to do now to see to win that game. So and that's what we're going to be facing. We're not going to be thinking about what it does to the club or to the city if you win. Uh, there's also a chance that you lose. So, uh, so we need to prepare ourselves uh, for that game to uh, to make sure we get results, and then after the game we can think about what it uh, what it does for the team and for the club and uh, and everything. Reading have never made it up through the playoffs. Five defeats, three in finals. You can change that. Well, hopefully, there's always a first. So um, uh, I didn't really well. You, you you mention it now, the record. So I didn't really know that. I'm not really interested in what happened in the past. Um, I'm interested in what happens now and, and where we are, what we need to do to uh, to get a result. And that's how we've been working this season. That's how we're going to be facing the game on Monday. And then uh, hopefully we'll uh, we'll change it and hopefully we can get a result on Monday. Will the results of the match have any impact on your future here? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, it's um, again, you know, I, I still have a contract over here. I'm happy over here. Um, I love working with this team, with these players. Um, it would be great if we can make it to the Premier League. If not, we're still in the Championship, still uh, having a good team, uh, working for a nice club. Um, of course, the ambition's there, like I've told you before. Um, but, um, we'll see at, at the end of the season but, uh, what it does, uh, what we can do over here with the club, what they want uh, to do with me. Uh, maybe the club wants to have somebody else. You never know how it goes nowadays in football. But um, you know, I'm happy where I'm uh, at the moment. And the two games with Huddersfield so far this season, both really close. What are your memories of those? Yeah, you know, the one we won uh, at home, we lost over there one 0 uh, Like you said, very close in possession as well. Both teams like to play in a similar way. Um, if you look at the players as well, the quality of the players. Um, you know, so it, it, it's going to be an interesting game again um, on the Monday, and how they are going to be setting up uh, their team uh, in what we're going to be doing to uh, to create chances or hopefully scoring goals and uh, to not and to give nothing away. You know, so it's uh, it's going to be a tight game again. I think. Yeah. Are you going to do the same kind of job on them that you did on Fulham? Well, hopefully, you know. Uh, I told you, I told you before that we want to win every game, and, and uh, we're going to take risks. Um, of course, you know, you want to defend well as well. Um, we're not going to change everything uh, that we've worked for th th this this season. Um, Fulham was the favourite, according to everybody over here. Um, you know, we've done well against them. Uh, we're in the final. Now it's a total different game again against uh, Huddersfield. They've got a good team as well, and, and you know it's back from from scratch. You know, start from zero again, and we need to again face ourselves and work very hard to get a result. And have you been practicing penalties very much? Yes, uh, we keep on doing that. You know, and it's getting better and better. So I'm very confident. Thanks. Yeah, okay. in uh, pre-season, you, you said top ten would be a big ask. Yeah. But are you surprised at your, your progress this season? Well, sometimes I am, yeah, you know, but I'm pleasantly surprised because, of course, when when you start a job um, up to a certain standard, you know, in, in the qualities, what players you have and what they can do. But if you're working with those players and you take them out of their comfort zone, you can see that there's a lot more in them, in what we've seen and or in what I've seen on on clips or you know from videotapes before I started over here. And then you're pleasantly pleasantly surprised in, in what they can do, what they can bring to the game, and how they can improve. And, and how they can play a total different game as well. And you've been the manager through quite a turbulent year, I suppose, off the field. A takeover that's finally kind of progressed. Uh, you know, as the figurehead of the club, therefore, what this would mean for this club to be promoted. What, what would it mean from your perspective and the players? 
Um, I think for the players, it's um, it, it's it's a very very great achievement because I think everybody wants to play in, in the, at the highest level. You want to play in the Premier League over here. There's a you know everybody's watching the Premier League Championship, of course, a lot of people as well. But Premier League, of course, you know you're there. Everybody wants to play at that stage. Everybody can show themselves to the world even more. Um, I think as a player, you want to play for big teams. There's an opportunity for the players as well. If you perform, if you do well now, if you do well in the Premier League, there's maybe another step to to even the bigger teams. So I think that makes it easier as well. If you're already playing in the Premier League, so people can see you um, as a player that you can that you can do well at that level. So uh, I think it's good for them. I think for the club, it's great if you go into the Premier League because of. The money is involved, you know, so it's it's good for everybody um, if you like use it wisely as well, um, you know. And I think for us, for the for the for the staff, it, it's very good, and not only us, the technical staff, but everybody around the club, it's great as well to to work in a club that's working or that's playing in the in the Premier League as well. And I think the attraction of playing in the Premier League, it's it's getting bigger and bigger for the crowd as well. So the crowd is is, is going to be more uh, fans, of course, in uh, in the stadium. So everything and everything, it's it's better to play in there, of course, you know. But but still, like I said before, it's it's, it's still quite a long way to go because 95 minutes can can be a very long way. So and and we need to do well. So first, we need to focus on what we need to do to get there. Do you tell your players to embrace the occasion or zone it out? How did you do it when you played? Well, it's a thing, and everybody is always talking about um, when you play finals that you need to do the same things as what you do in the league. And of course, that's uh, easily said and done, because everybody knows the importance of the games, the the, the, the stakes at the um, at the game, and you know what's at stake, what you need to do, what you can achieve eventually, or if you lose, uh, the, what feeling you can you can have as well. And I've been there myself as well. But yeah, we try to prepare our team normal as as we always do, um, and and then they just need to believe in themselves. They need to have confidence in the, in the team, in each other, and what they can do. We've we've done that against Fulham as well in, in how we needed to play. Uh, of course, it's a special occasion, so you can think a bit about that, you know. But as soon as, as you're on the pitch, there the referee starts the the game, you need to play your own game, and and we try to get that into the plays that you need to need to like focus on that. Just a message to the fans briefly as well. They're flying in from all over the world to be here. Um, it's a, it's another big day for them. And as we mentioned earlier, it's had some bad days at Wembley, I suppose. Oh, you know, there's uh, like I said, you know, you want to change uh, certain things. You know, uh, we we didn't really think about that what happened in the past. You know, we don't want to focus on that because I think that's bad. Of course, sometimes you can you can take the the the, the bad moments and then try to turn it around in, into good moments. You know, but um, we focus on what we what we need to do. You know, in in, in working hard, uh, we enjoy it that we're at Wembley, that we can play in a great stadium with a lot of fans, like you said, coming from all over the world supporting us. Everybody's already very happy that we're there in the final, but you know finals are there to be won. So if you're there, if you're playing the final, you need to give it your best shot. You need to give it everything to get a result. Yeah, can I ask a quick question about security? Uh, obviously, as a former Man United player, you've had words about the atrocities that happened this yeah. week. Reading fans being asked to get to the ground earlier for security. What's your message to the fans about the day on that front? Well, well, I think everybody knows what to do, and, and everybody knows what to expect. Especially now, in what happens, uh, what happened at Manchester, you know, and what happened uh, previous times uh, in, in in other countries as well, which is a big disappointment for everybody, especially for the families uh, involved, of course, you know. And, and it's a it's a very sad moment again that this happens, and um, because this is happening, uh, things are changing in the world. You know, you need to. Uh, well, um, Identify yourselves every time. You need to to uh, have a look in, in what you bring to to the stadium because there's more security and everything. I think that's normal. Um, so it's a good thing that the that the fans are going to be there in time. You know, so they can help and makes it make it easy for the police and for the stewards as well over there, so they can go into the ground uh, safe and well. And I think that's very important. Yeah.